this is Robin Parr, and I am the associate at Delonica United Methodist Church, here to bring you a word of hope. So you know that we have been uh, this month in uh, a time of stewardship, and Steve and I, our sermons have been centered around that idea. And of course, when we talk about stewardship, you'll notice that it's very rare that, that we talk about money although that is obviously a part of it. Um, instead, Steve and I feel like that God is calling us to, to talk to you about uh, becoming sanctified, to becoming holy as Christ is holy, and that if you desire to live a sanctified life, then all of the rest of it is going to take care of itself. And so, um, I decided to video this as I'm in the car because some of my best ideas come, uh, and it's not my ideas, but, but God finally gets me in a place when I'm in the car that I can't think about anything else. I just think about God, and He comes to me, and He talks to me uh, in this time, and that's one of the best things about my drive, my drive from Gainesville to Dahlonega. Uh, and back is always those few moments, um, about 45 minutes both ways, that I, I just sit and, and I'm with God. And as I'm driving, I look around uh, at, at the world, and especially the beauty in the world. And I go from where I live, which is on the lake, and I go through parts of Gainesville and I get on Thompson Bridge Road and 60 and then I'm coming in to Delonica and I uh, cross over the river and I come up the hill and I see the mountains in the background and and how the topography of the of the land changes just from my short drive from from Gainesville to Delonica even the temperature I, I will leave the uh, leave Gainesville at one temperature and then when I get to Dahlonega it's always a, a little cooler and I thought about that I thought about the scripture about the birds and about how Jesus says don't be anxious don't worry about anything but instead remember that I give the birds of the field everything that they need I take care of them and and then I thought about that other verse that talks about you know don't lay up for yourselves treasures on earth because they're, they're going to rust. They're, they're going to, you know, no longer cease to be. But instead, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Um, it's funny how in the last couple of uh, marriage, premarital counseling sessions that I have done, um, I, we've talked about that because they were uh, people who this is, uh, they had spouses who actually died and this was their second marriages. And, and of course they had accumulated a ton of stuff. And so we talked about how do you get rid of some of the stuff, some of the junk in your life. And I think that this is good for us to hear, good for us to understand what stewardship, what walking in sanctification means. Sometimes it means that we need to look at the junk in our life, at the idols in our lives, and decide, are they really good for us? And one of the exercises that I had these couples do was to say, can I take this with me? Um, is it really important in my life? I even ask them questions like, do your children want these things? Uh, you know, and it's like, no, can't take them with me. No, my children don't want them. And, and they say, but there's memories associated with that. Okay, but if you get rid of that junk, are your memories gone? No, my memories are not gone. Okay. And so sometimes we, our lives are like that, that we need to decide what's really important. What do we really need? Well, the one thing that we know that we need is we need God. We need to, to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And, and we need to desire to walk in a sanctified way. And, and as we look at the junk in our lives, we need to see the beauty of nature. And we need to realize that God takes care of nature. God takes care of us. And so often those things that we collect that have got dust all over them really don't mean as much to us as we realize. 
that when it boils down to it, when it really comes down to it, what really matters in our life is our relationship with God and our relationship with each other and our desire that comes out of that because the Holy Spirit is in us is that desire that others be content just as what Paul talks to us about, about what it means to truly find contentment. And that, yes, it comes from a place deep inside of us where the Holy Spirit resides and continually says to us, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you. But I also expect, with all that I have given you, that you in turn be a blessing to others. I, someone said to me recently, yeah, I'm, I'm lucky that I was born in the United States. That is true. We are, we are lucky that we're born in the United States. But because we are, God expects us to turn around and be a blessing to others. When we're willing to give our lives completely to God, then God turns around and He takes that life and He uses you to further His kingdom. He uses you in such a way that others come to know Him and they too desire to live a sanctified life. So as you're driving, just like I am, look around. Look around at the world. Look around at the beauty. Look at where you live and think about all that God has done that He gives you every day and all the blessings that He gives you every day. And then ask yourself, Lord, how do you want me to use these gifts that I have been given? How can I give myself fully to the kingdom of God? And don't do this just because it's you're supposed to do it. Do it because you love God. And in that love, we're going to love each other. So don't lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. Instead, find your treasure in heaven. Amen.